Greetings, citizens. Greetings. Now, the prologue. The prologue. Our story today is taken from the book, The Odyssey. The Odyssey. Now, this is a book full of odds and ends. <laughs> and it came to pass... The... My master and mistress so having a row. What about it? Please, 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 and, of course, it'll all come back on me, you know, the slave of the household. All these years. The, 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 she'll be saying, Lurkio, the, pick up those bits and stick them. <laughs> together. Together. <laughs> together. <laughs> no, well, I mean, it's... it's it, well, you've been to all those museums. You've, you've seen all those uh, ancient uh, vases with cracks all over them. Well, this is how it happens, you see? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now. Oh, drafty. Now. <laughs> Quiet now, please. The prologue. Now, today... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> now, today, ladies and gentlemen, the, uh, we had the Odyssey. Now, we're going to give you a story. This is Odysseus and the Sirens. Odysseus and the Sirens. Now, one day, the Sirens went off, but the air raid shelter was a long way from... Oh, oh, thrice oh dear. Oh, here she is. Misery. Oh, oh. She... Oh, dear. This is the soothsayer. The soothsayer, Senna. Whoa, whoa. Oh, dear. She's a silly old pod. She <laughs> is. I have just returned from a visit to Mars. To where? Mars. Oh, how is your poor old mother, dear? <laughs> is she still in the Derby and Jonas Club? Because she was always in the club, you know. <laughs> Mars, the great god of war. Oh, that Mars, yes. Beware. Of far off land across the sea. Oh, you're warmongering now. Go on, do your mongering somewhere else, please. Cry heaven, can let slip the dogs of war. Let slip the dogs of war. Only the blessed will escape their bloody fangs. Well, it'll be no bloody fangs to you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. All right, love, we do our best. Oh, what a funny woman. She's a misery. She really is a misery. Now, oh, the prologue. Now, Odysseus and the Sirens. Now, these Sirens were strange creatures. Strange creatures, the Sirens. They were half women and half fish, you see. And, yes, fish, half fish. And they are measurements, or for those with their own teeth, their vital statistics. <laughs> the measurements, 38, 28, and three drachmas a pound. <laughs> Filleted. And, uh, mind you, they're very nice, some of them. They're most attractive, especially the ones with the soft rose. And, uh, <laughs> Yes, and they had lovely long fair hair, and they had lovely shoulders, and slim waists, and thereby hangs a tail. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what do you expect, wit? <laughs> you expect that? You won't get into this show. Oh, dear. Oh, rape is limited! Oh, God. Second half. <laughs> Is there a potter in the house? Oh, oh, oh Lurkio, I'm so sorry about all this, but I'm afraid my dear wife has no artistic appreciation. Oh, I'm sorry. All that... I was doing was admiring the bust of a wood nymph. Ah! <laughs> the wood nymph? Well, would she would or wouldn't she wouldn't? I didn't get, I didn't get time to find out. Oh. And keep out of my sight, rapist libertine! Oh, no, mistress, don't throw that. Please, don't. I was just going to use it. Now, please. <laughs> For the crocuses. Oh, wretched, wretched man. How could you do this to me after 20 years of marriage? Well, my dear, that's exactly what I said to myself. How could I do it to you after 20 years of marriage? <laughs> I <mean> that. <laughs> Is there a chamberlain in the house? Cry <laughs> heaven! Can let loose oh, the dogs of war! Oh, good Cry gracious. Heaven! What's she on about? She's doing the cry havoc bit, you know. 
Uh, warmongering. Oh, oh, perhaps she heard about me and that girl. No, 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 warmongering. W-A-R. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Yes. Oh. oh, he's a silly old fool. He really is. I think his hearing's going. Well, it's about time something did. Well, I mean, you can't keep bashing away with every part without something giving out eventually, can you? <laughs> Pity it wasn't his mouth. I'll tell you that much. Oh, Lurkio. Lurkio, I hope she doesn't mean there's going to be another war. Uh, I wouldn't like that, you know. Oh, I don't know, Master. After all, it would get you out of the house, wouldn't it? Oh, well, you forget that I spent five years as a youth in Caesar's legions. Did you? Oh, all that pillaging, burning, raping. Oh, the times we had. I remember Lurkio <laughs> one time in Gaul. Oh. Here we go. All our Oh, yesterdays. <laughs> yes, they had these girls, you know, Lurkio, in Gaul, you see. Oh, yes, I've heard of those. Gaul girls. Yes, I've heard of them. <laughs> yes, they call them camp followers. Oh, yes, comforts for the troops. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Singers, dancers, musicians. Oh, sick <laughs> transit Gloria Ensa. Oh, oh I can't <laughs> tell you the fun we oh, had of those girls, yes, Lurkio. Uh... Here now, the wise word, Plautus. It is a well-known fact that camp followers did a lot for the Roman soldiers at the front. <laughs> oh, a stranger approacheth. Oh, yes. Oh, centurion, what's that? It's a proclamation. A proclam... Oh, it's a proclamation. Oh, yes. Oh, let's have a look. Oh! Oh, look, look. Oh, no, not too close. Get back. Form a queue. Don't jostle. This is not a demo. Look, you stay there. I'll read it out. I'll read it out. Belli declarances. Haste circumstoria ad nauseum ad hoc. Go fault fish. <laughs> oh, must be Friday, you see. <laughs> Britannicus ad sum hic hac hoc. Funicular semper fidelis crumpetorum. <laughs> hey? I don't know what it means. What, funicular? You know, it goes something that goes up and down. You know, funicular, yes. Oh, crumpetorum? Well, if you're on the funicular, it's please yourselves. No, Lurkio, let me see. Oh, Lurkio! What, master? The Britons have risen in revolt. Oh, they've risen in revolt. Yes. Every able-bodied man is to report as soon as possible to his nearest army depot. Oh. Oh, isn't it wonderful, Lurkio? Oh. We're going to war. Oh, we're going to war. <laughs> we, master? Yes. But, yes, of course, every officer automatically takes his slave with him to war. But wherever did you read that, master? It's a well-known fact that Roman generals always did take their body servants with them to war. Oh, you shut your gob. <laughs> Big Ed. Oh, master, I can't go back to Britannicus. I don't go back to Britannicus. Why not? Well, I was born there. Oh, 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 oh nonsense. They'll have forgotten all about that. They're a very forgiving race, you know, Lurkio. I see. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I must be off. If I'd known you got a line like that, you'd been off before, I tell you. <laughs> Lurkio, isn't it wonderful to think that we shall be in the army again? <laughs> <laughs> I shall be away for one year, two perhaps, even three. Who knows? I must tell this wonderful news to my wife. Oh, yes, master. Oh, he's a silly old fool. <laughs> he really is. And now he's gone, I can tell you the real reason why I can't go back to Britannicus. You see, there was this girl in the next cave, you see, to me. And uh, she used to paint herself up most attractively, this yellow line uh, running down the centre of her woad. And, um, <laughs> and, you see, they had this pet mammoth, and they lost it. And she... No, listen, listen. And listen a minute, please. And she was continually coming round to my cave asking for it. She was... Oh, well, listen, listen! <laughs> Will you be listening, please, now? She was... I'm telling you, she was, all, she was always asking for it, and so naturally, in the end, I had to give it to her. <laughs> now, now, the th well, you see, you know, one thing leads to the other. And, of course, once you get started, it's surprising how many other things there are. <laughs> well, you just follow this yellow line down the... Anyway, the point was... <laughs> her f Listen a minute. This... Her father came round, her father, and said, You're going to marry my daughter. I said, I'm not... He said, You are. You've got to marry my daughter or I'll kill you. You see, so I fled from Britannicus because there was no sense in me and the daughter both being in trouble. So, you see... <laughs> listen, no, listen... Yeah, the thing was this, you see. 
that I had made up my mind definitely I would not marry before the age of 12. And I intended to... <laughs> well, that's the reason, of course, that I can't. I don't go back to Britannia because I must... Because of the girl, you see. Thank I must you. go... Thank you. Uh, oh, no, this is nauseous. Now, this is the son of my master. Strange boy, almost strange. Oh, the smell of rampant hibiscus. You see what I mean, see? <laughs> yes. Greetings, Lurkio. Greetings, master. Whither is thou away? Pardon? Whither is thou away? A bit. I think it's this cold weather, actually. <laughs> <laughs> How long has it been hanging on the wall? <laughs> the proclamation. Oh, uh, <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, you've just arrived in time, Master, yes. We're all going to war. Oh, no, not me, Lurkio. No, no, I'm a conscientious objector. Are you? I don't believe in the bloody business of war. Oh, dear. You, you, <laughs> you never used to use language like that. No. I mean, even when that horse uh, uh, threw its shoe and it caught him and hit him, all he said was, shot it. <laughs> As the great philosopher Sophocles said, it is better to make a lasting peace than a lasting war. Well, of course, it depends on the peace you're trying to make, you see, and <laughs> how long she'll last. But, I mean, the... Besides Lurkio... I cannot leave Pompeii now. Why? I've become enamoured of a girl. You've become what? Enamoured. Enamoured. Oh, isn't he sweet? <laughs> He's always getting his hammer out for someone, isn't he? <laughs> I composed this ode for her. An ode I thought you might have done. May I read it to the assembled populace? Please. Yes. Ode to Gropia. <laughs> <laughs> what a pretty name. I spied this beauty quite by chance. The one I yearned to woo. She was not standing on a cloud. She was sitting alone. <laughs> Get ready for it. She was sitting on the balcony. I'm afraid I was lost for a rhyme there. Yes, well, you'll find one at your convenience. <laughs> oh, well, Lurkio. I'll hire me hence. That's right, you hire your hence. You won't get much for it, but still, never mind, try. Lurkio, <laughs> Lurkio! Yes, master. Come and get packed at oh, once. Yes, master. <laughs> you go and get packed as well. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I can't go back to Britannicus. There's that girl there still. Oh, dear. What does it say? All able bodied men to report. All able bodied men. All able bodied men. I wonder. Lurkio! Come in, master, come in. <laughs> Don't hold me long, it's coming on. <laughs> we march! You see, it didn't work. <laughs> sinister, Dexter, sinister, Dexter. Marcus Tempus! Squad Terminus! Sinister Tam! All right. I passed the medical. Yes. I had more rotten luck I had. I told the doctor, I, I, I said, look, I said, doctor, I have funny turns. And he's, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean you haven't noticed it? Listen, I said, <laughs> I get dizzy spells, I said. I've got shriveled muscles, I said. I've got, uh, I've got dandruff, I said. I've even got fallen arches, fallen arches. Do you know what he said? So is the aqueduct outside Rome. <laughs> but it still manages to, to pass water. No, it's not <laughs> You can't beat them, you see. You cannot beat them. What in the ranks there, you legionary shower? Oh, you look like a load of dropouts from Pater's army. <laughs> right, now, let's have you. By the Dexter, number... I, 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 V, V. <laughs> you horrible little man. <laughs> Oh, me, sir? You! <laughs> Ivy! <laughs> Get them shoulders back, your chest out! Well, the shoulders are, it's this breastplate. <laughs> it goes in where I come out, it's very difficult, this. <laughs> All these are silly, these armoured breast breastplates. Breastplates, I mean, it, it, you notice, they follow the actual shape of the body underneath. Look, you see, look. <laughs> this is an old naval uniform. <laughs> It's a good job. It's a good job we're not wearing armoured skirts, isn't it? Oh, dear! <laughs> Think of the phone calls we've been getting in. Right, stand by, CO's inspection. Close up. Oh, that sort of inspection. <laughs> Don't you oh. tune in? Present arms. 
Hello, here's Trout Neston. <laughs> What a magnificent ass. <laughs> Third Pompeii and foot and mouth, present, ready for inspection. Shut! Thank you, Sergeant. <laughs> Who is this man? Fivey, sir. Oh, I wish they wouldn't keep calling me that. It's, <laughs> it's given me a complex. Sire! Oh, it's me, Master. Every Roman soldier is this day identified only by a number. Oh. Understand? Yes, Master. Don't keep calling me Master. I'm General Ludicrous. General, sir, yes. Yes! What's wrong with your weapon? Pardon? <laughs> well, what the hell is the use of that? Yes, it does seem pretty pointless. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother. Shut up! Big pawn, sir, after you. Thank you, Sergeant. Shut up! Shut up! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> now then, how did you come to lose the top off your weapon? Ah, well... <laughs> listen, it... Ah, well, now, you see, the thing was I took it to this armourer. The armourer, it was a mistake. Now, where's the mistake in that man? Well, you see, before he was called up, the armour the armor was a rabbi. <laughs> <laughs> Imbecile! Put this man on a charge, Sergeant. Um, Extra guard duty. Oh, so, master. The general. General, you see. Isn't it marvellous how men alter as soon as they get in the uniform? So, general, look at him, all wind and pips. <laughs> right, men, pay attention. Now then, men, I'm happy to tell you that after only three months, the campaign in Britain is nearly over. Hooray! Yes! We've got these mangy Britons and the Queen they call Boadicea on the run. Hey! There remains nothing now but mopping up operations. Uh, mopping up? That'll be me again. <laughs> so someone has to keep the ablutions clean, I suppose. <laughs> now then, men, tonight you can relax, released from the horrors of war that have snatched us from the arms of our wives and our loved ones. Oh, and talking of loved ones, sergeants, uh, isn't it time we saw some of these camp followers? I believe there's a batch on the way, sir. <laughs> Splendid, <isn't it? laughs> Send the prettiest one to me. Very good, sir. Now then, men, tonight you can relax, secure in the knowledge that the walls of this encampment are impregnable Ooh. and the gate well guarded. Hooray! Right. Now, any complaints, men? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, Ivy, what's your complaint? <laughs> Don't keep calling me Ivy, sir. He's driving me up the wall. <laughs> Carry on, Sergeant. Sir. Ivy. Yes, sir. I believe you were born in this benighted Britannica, eh? Yes, I was sold into slavery. Yes, another British export reject, eh? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. I've offended you. Oh, don't apologise, Sergeant. We Britons are used to it. They say rule Britannia, and it's true, anybody can. <laughs> hey, 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 yes. Sergeant! Here come some of the camp followers. Right! Open the gates! Oh. This is it. This is the bit you've been waiting for. This is where it, this is where it starts to get mucky now. <laughs> Kids, get your parents to bed now, look. Or, will you excuse me? I must go and join them because... Ooh, well, I'm only flesh and blood, you know. Well, yes, I am. I'm only flesh and blood, after all. Oh, it was a girl, though, who likes boneless men. Excuse me. <laughs> It's, oh, it's getting really permissive. Yeah. Oh, dear. There's only seven. There's one missing. Not enough to go round. Some will have to go without. Oh, it'll be the master. It'll be wasted on him anyway. Waste, wasted on him. Excuse me. Uh, All right, now, break this up. Let's get organised. Well, ladies, Sergeant Jenkins at your service. <laughs> You all go along with the lads to the canteen. We'll soon have you all sorted out. Eh? Ah, thank you, sir. Not you, String Bean. <laughs> you stay put here. And let's see. Uh, ah, yes, you lady, if you don't mind. Oh, is she for me? She is not. Oh. You take her to the CO. Get back to this gate on guard duty, right? Yes. Yes. Right. Oh, dear. Isn't it marvellous? No wonder they call me rear guard Ivy. Look. <laughs> well. I'm not taking her into that general's tent in that tent there without having a dabble myself. 
<laughs> Hello. She's all covered up. I must get to the bottom of this. <laughs> oh, ah. I'm ready, soldier. Oh, it's my mistress, Ammonia. Well, hurry up, soldier. What are you waiting for? Well, whatever it is, I'm not going to get it now, that's for sure. <laughs> Mercio! Oh, Mercio, is it really you? Yes, mistress, and I'm flabbergasted. I really am flabbergasted. What are you doing thus, a camp follower? My ghast has never been so flabby. <laughs> It's the first camp I've ever followed, truly. Well, it's disgraceful, mistress. Go home from whence you came, please. Without giving comfort to one brave Roman soldier. No, I won't have it. If you stay here, I don't see how you can avoid it. <laughs> oh, Lurky, oh, stop muttering and do as your sergeant said. Take me to the general. But your husband, what? I mean... What? Well, my husband? He isn't here, is he? Well, he's... Uh, oh, that's well. all right, then, Lurky. Oh, it's all right, don't worry. Then he'll never find out. Well, I wouldn't <laughs> bank on that, <laughs> mistress. I... Oh. Uh, Lurky, oh, obey orders at once or I'll have you publicly flogged. Flogged? Flogged. Oh, dear. That's the first time she's ever spoken to me like that. You see, isn't it marvellous the way women change when they go abroad? They go mad on their own, don't they? You see, it's these foreign climbs. She's got her climbing boots on already, can you see? <laughs> well, I mean, I can't take her into the tent there to have a bit of fun. I mean, listen a minute. You can't have a bit of fun with her own husband, can I? I mean, of course I can't. I mean, you can't. It's... Eh? What, in a tent? With her own husband? Oh, I can't. Oh, shall I? Yeah. Well, let's just take a vote on it. We'll take a vote. And remember, folks, it's your votes that count. <laughs> <laughs> now, hands up all those who think I should take her in the tent. Hands up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> up in the air, sir. Do you mind? <laughs> I'm sorry, madam. There's always one. I'm so sorry. <laughs> now, all those who think I should keep her outside. <laughs> oh, all right, then. You've all voted inside. Twelve million to three. All right. <laughs> Mistress, oh, yes, I'll yes. go inside now and see if the general's ready for it. Uh, ready for you, I mean. Yes, yes, yes. Excuse me. Uh, uh, who is it? Oh, look, oh, you. Uh, I wish you'd knock before you come in. Knock on a tent? <laughs> well, uh, now that you're here, what is it? Well, uh, Master, your camp follower waits without. What? And I wait without within? Yes, <laughs> Well, don't stand there chuntering, Lurk. You'll bring her master, in. Master, bring master, her in. master, could I make a suggestion? Could I make a suggestion? Look, before I bring her in, could I suggest that you douse the lights? Oh, well, then the place will be pitch black in here. Yeah, precisely. But the thing is, you see, she's, a, she's very shy, you see, and uh, she's a high-born lady. Oh, high-born. Yes, her mother was up Vesuvius at the time. <laughs> <laughs> to me, Lurkio. I'm nothing if not a gentleman. Well, so I've always said that you're nothing, sir. And the thing is, look, could I suggest that you don't talk to her? Don't ask her any awkward questions. Oh, don't worry, Lurkio. Mum's the word. All oh, right. Yes. <laughs> now, right you are, sir. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, Lurkio, I'm glad she's a lady. I appreciate class. Yes, well, I promise you, Master, you're going to learn a lot in this class. Ah. Yes. <laughs> Mistress. Oh, is he ready for me, Lurkio? Oh, yes, mistress. Look, may, but may I be suggestive? Oh. I mean, could I suggest <laughs> that? Uh, look, uh, he's a very strong, silent type. Oh. You want to say what I mean? He's a military man, a man of action, a military man, you see. No talking after lights out. Oh, oh how absolutely wonderful. Oh, no, Lurkio, I promise I won't say one word. I'm uh. sure it'll be better that way. <laughs> uh, well, it may not be better, but it might last a little longer. <laughs> so, uh, you come this way, mistress. Oh, now. Mind you don't trip, yes. Mind the foliage, yes. Uh, uh, good luck. Yeah. Oh, dear, I'm a little devil, aren't I? Well, this is better than the Odysseus and the Sirens, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it is, isn't it? Well, that's all you're going to get, so you might as well make the best of it. <laughs> no, no, listen, imagine their faces. Imagine their faces when they find out who's who and what's hey, what. Hey, you in there, Roman! Someone outside the gate. Hey, oh. Roman, come here! Hey? Will you come here a minute? There's a foreigner. <laughs> There's a fugitive from Coronation Stratus. <laughs> uh, just a second. Wait a minute, minute. I've got a book here. Let's see. Uh, there we are. Halt! Who goes there? We are halting. Uh, oh. Well, who goes there, then? Well, if we're halting, we can't very well go anywhere, can we? <laughs> so much for the book. <laughs> All right, what do you want? We're two poor defeated Britons 
And we brought you a present from our queen, Bodicea. Oh, a present from Bodicea? How nice. Well, shove it through the letterbox. I can't. It's too big. Oh, they are boastful, these Britons. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, here's the shutters. Come in, bring it. There we are. Yeah. There we are. Bring it in. Huh? Isn't that what I <laughs> 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 Oh, it's all over there. That's right, it's a vacant lot. Yes. They are, Roman. There's your Prezi. It's uh, just what we wanted. What is it? Well, surely you've heard of the Trojan horse. The Trojan horse? Yes. Well, this is a Jersey and cow. <laughs> I thought it was something or other. Come <laughs> on, oh, don't doze off. <laughs> oh, please yourselves. What? Excuse me. Yes. We must go now. Yes. We have to get back to Salisbury. Oh, haven't you got a hairy bra? bra. Look at that. <laughs> Never mind. Well, very nice to have met you. Ta. Yes, pleasure. Go back to Salisbury. Yes. Oh, what's uh, how is Salisbury? Divine. Absolutely divine. Oh. <laughs> Another camp follower here, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that temple they're building they're getting on? Stonehenge? Yes. Well, it's been a great disappointment. Yes. Has it? It's oh. terribly, terribly damp. Oh. You see, I told them before they must put a roof on it. It's so oh, silly. Yeah. It's bad <laughs> to get damp. It's these modern buildings, you see. Well, bye-bye. Oh, wait a minute. You've dropped your handbag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Bye-bye. Oh. oh, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> I expect... I, I suspected it all through the rehearsals. Definitely. <laughs> Right, I'll just, I'll just shut the gate here, madam. That's it. Shan't keep her long. There we are. Well, there we are. What a funny prezzy, isn't it? What a funny prezzy. And what it's for? <laughs> it's a well-known fact that the British hold a weird and incomprehensible festival called Cow's Week. <laughs> What's going on in there? Why no screens? They must have found out by now. I can't understand this. Look you. Look you. Oh, mistress. Oh, I'm very sorry. It was a dirty trick oh, I played on you. Oh, look you. What a man. Such vigour. <laughs> such what? Such vigour. He must have been eating the, he must have been eating the donkey's oats. <laughs> oh, I have never known his like. Oh. Well, I think you have, mistress, oh, actually, yes. yes. Oh, no, Lurkio, now I can return home yes, to Pompeii. Yes, mistress. This is an experience I shall treasure all my life. Yes, and oh, Lurkio, thank you, Yes, mistress. Lurkio, Lurkio, Lurkio. Has she gone? Yes, master. Master, I've been a very naughty slave. Oh, Lurkio, I'm eternally in your debt. Uh, yeah, well, d didn't you know who she was? No. Oh, she was Ma. Well, I know they're all alike in the dark, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Lurkio, what is this? Uh, that's a prezi, sir, from, from, from Queen Bodicea and the Britons. A prezi? Yes. What is it? Uh, eh? What is it? It's a Jersey moo, you see. <laughs> a Jersey moo? Yes. Well, why has it got a door in its side? Well, I suppose that's so it can leave its milk outside, you see. <laughs> 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 Lurkio, Lurkio, we are surprised. Oh, yes. It's a <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Isn't it exciting? <laughs> wait a minute! I'm so wait a minute, I'm talking! Sorry. Now, this is exciting. I've been rehearsing this for weeks. Mine's no better now. <laughs> well, well, oh, yes, here we are. Yeah, wait a minute, what are you doing, Master? I'm surrendering. Oh, well, I'm as well as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Now, who is your commanding officer? The general, sir. I am. What do you propose to do with us? As soon as our queen arrives... I thought your queen already arrived. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as Queen Bodicea arrives, you'll be publicly beheaded. <laughs> queen Bodicea has arrived. Oh, I didn't know she played the trumpet. <laughs> Prepare oh, for the sword. Oh, no, don't. Please, don't. Kneel down, you're going to be publicly beheaded. Oh, not now. Beheaded? Yes. yes. What? A hit? Oh, no. Oh, please, beheaded. <laughs> what are you waiting for? <laughs> you don't think you're going to see it actually being done, do you? <laughs> this is not a cultural programme now. <laughs> to Pompeii, be off. <laughs> oh, all these months away and still no word from my husband. I fear I shall never see him again. 
Only a few yards to go now. I told you it would be all right once we crossed the Alps. Oh, yes. oh look, you once back in Sibia Strata. Oh, <laughs> My beloved wife, all these months I thought of but one thing. Oh, then come inside, dearest, and you shall have it. <laughs> <laughs> or we did Mrs. Sunday's supplement. Because <laughs> I know what you're wondering. You're wondering how he escaped being beheaded, aren't you? Well, no, you won't believe this. You won't believe this. But, do you see, yeah, this here, yeah, I had to laugh myself, and I'm in it. But, you see, listen. <laughs> No, listen. This woman, Bodicea, the Queen Bodicea, turned out to be my old girlfriend. You know, from the next day, yes. And, of course, for old times' sake, she let us off. She forgave us. And even she... Well, you know, she was very kind, because she even gave me a souvenir to bring home. The Jersey and Moo. Wasn't that sweet of her? <laughs> yes. All right, love, you can come out now. You see? Ah, there we are. Isn't she sweet? What a dear little calf, isn't it? <laughs> yes. So much like her mother. <laughs> Salute! <laughs>